Welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next question on the test. We have to use the difference quotient to show that the function f of x equals 4x squared minus 24x plus 1 has a slope of 0 at x is equal to 3. So how do we do that? Well, when they tell you that a function has a slope of something at a certain x value, they're, what they mean is that the slope of the tangent at that point is going to be that value. So they're saying that the slope of the tangent is going to be 0 at this x value of 3 for this function. So what that means is that we have to show that the slope of the tangent or the instantaneous rate of change, which is the same as the slope of the tangent, is 0 at this x value. And we have to use the difference quotient to do that. So to find the instantaneous rate of change or the slope of the tangent at this x value of 3, how would we do that? Well, we would take f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 all over h. Writing this out here should be pretty automatic for you at this point. If it's not, then I would highly recommend you go back to the lecture videos and watch the overview on the difference quotient and the different examples that we go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to plug in 3 plus h for x and then 3 for x all over h. We're going to have to simplify this. And then at the end, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to plug in an h value of 0. Or we're going to have to see what happens to this expression as h approaches 0, as h gets very small. So let's do these on the side here. f of 3 plus h is going to be what? We have to take 3 plus h and plug it in for all the x values here. So we'd have 4 bracket 3 plus h squared. So this 3 plus h in brackets we input for the x minus 24 3 plus h plus 1. So 3 plus h squared, remember you have to FOIL that, 3 plus h times 3 plus h, that would be 9 plus 6h plus h um, squared. Be careful with this step. Sometimes students forget to FOIL it and all they do is they do 3 squared plus h squared or they do 9 plus h squared. But remember there's that middle term 6h there because you have to FOIL it out and then add the like terms. Minus 24 times 3, we can uh, bring this minus 24 inside. So minus 24 times 3 is what? That is negative 72. And then we have minus 24h plus 1. Now we can bring this 4 inside this bracket here. So we'd have 36 plus 24h plus 4h squared minus 72 minus 24h plus 1. Okay, so what are the like terms here? Notice the 4h squared is by itself, so we'll leave that by itself. The uh, 24h minus the 24h, those net out to 0, so those go away, so that's nice. And then we got 36 minus 72, which is negative 36, plus 1 would give us minus 35. So f of 3 plus h reduces to 4h squared minus 35. And we also have to find out what's f of 3 going to be. So we have to plug in 3 for all the x's. So we'd have 24 times 3 plus 1. So we'd have 9 times 4, 36, minus 72, which is negative 36 plus 1, would give us negative 35. So f of 3 is negative 35. So notice how we can simplify this now. So f of 3 plus h would be 4h squared minus 35 minus f of 3, which is negative 35, all over h. And then notice minus 35, this negative negative 35 would turn into positive 35. So negative 35 plus 35 would net out to 0. And we're just left with 4h squared over h. That equals just 4h, and when h goes close to 0, this whole expression would go to 0, meaning that the instantaneous rate of change at that x value of 3 is 0, meaning the slope of the tangent at that x value of 3 for this function is 0, and we just proved it using the difference quotient.
So that is your final answer there. Uh, you've got to algebraically simplify the difference quotient and get rid of that h in the denominator. Then you could plug in zero for h and the whole instantaneous rate of change, the slope of the tangent ends up being zero there.